Is it now shared? Yeah. It's there. Okay. Next, please. Yes. We are not okay. able to hear you very clearly, so can you speak up? Yes. Are you, uh, you don't hear me now? Is it okay? Yeah, thank you. Okay. So, Wendogenet College of Forestry and Natural Resources, uh, uh, which is uh, really a partner in this uh, in this uh, project, uh, was established uh, uh, over 40 years ago, with the aim of um, just uh, training forest technicians. And uh, at that time, it was a diploma program, receiving only like um, uh, about 20 students. And uh, over these uh, 40 years, it has grown to uh, the level of uh, offering PhD. Uh, program uh, and then it has got um, so many experiences in teaching research and community services in this and areas of forestry and natural resource uh, management. <coughs> Next slide. So, uh, structurally, uh, Wendogenet College of Forestry and Natural Resources is under Hawassa University. Awasa University has got uh, uh, eight other colleges, uh, which are almost all of them are uh, located in different uh, campuses. And uh, Wendogenet actually is uh, uh, one of the three colleges which established Hawasa University itself. And then um, it is uh, it's, it structurally looks like, like uh, there is a president there, dean, we have uh, two associate deans, one responsible for the academics and the other responsible for research and technology transfer. And then we also have managing director. Um, the academics, the academic units are under the uh, dean for the uh, academic affairs, research, community service and technology transfer is under uh, associate dean for research and technology transfer. And uh, all these are supported uh, by the admin staff, which is under the managing director. And uh, so currently we have uh, about 178 academic staff, which uh, the detail of which is presented on the next slide. Uh, the, ac the academic profile uh, is like, um, we have uh, 25 PhD staff at the moment. Most of them are, of course, the uh, lecturers holding masters uh, and masters MSc or MA. And uh, we also have BSc holders. And uh, our aim, our aim in the next in the near future is to re to reach uh, almost like uh, uh, 70, 30, 70 percent uh, masters uh, level and then 30% PhD in the near future. So uh, with the, B the BSCC uh, holders will uh, soon go to uh, the MSc classes. And then in the, near, in the near future, we are going to have 70, 30 proportion with 70 masters and uh, 30 PhD uh, staff. Um, we have uh, 12 academic units. Uh, most of most of them uh, like uh, are uh, focusing on forestry and uh, other natural resource areas like agroforestry. We also have general forestry, forest management and utilization. We, we also have one uh, department focusing on urban forestry and the greening, uh, <coughs> natural resource economics, GIS, Soil resource and watershed management, environmental science, land administration surveying, wildlife. The two of uh, the last two are focusing more on uh, wildlife uh, and uh, ecotourism areas. So these are academic units uh, that, that has got uh, different programs at BSCC, MSc, and the PhD level. Next.
uh, this this with this slide shows you about uh, our current the MSc programs that we have at the moment. So uh, I don't I'm not going into the details uh, like uh, um, some we, we we have climate smart agriculture we have climate change in development we have uh, we have also forest resource assessment and monitoring which is mainly focusing on uh, assessment of greenhouse gases uh, and uh, and we also have renew renewable energy utilization management that is also focusing more on uh, measure measuring or assessing uh, greenhouse gases uh, that are related to uh, energy the energy sector and we also have others which are uh, related to wildlife biodiversity and gis At the moment, we we have uh, two PhD programs: uh, PhD in climate change and bioenergy development, and PhD in agroforestry. PhD in agroforestry. Actually, we are going to receive the first batch of students this year, and uh, in total, uh, for um, and at at the moment, we have about two thousand students. Our uh, most of them are uh, BSc. And uh, like uh, the last bar is uh, 25 PhD students. So this is the number of students that we currently have uh, <coughs> uh, at, at our college. So you can, you can imagine uh, uh, that the college started with about 20 students uh, yeah. and then now it reached to 2000. Of course, uh, the, 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 the aspiration is to uh, reach more, especially uh, focusing on uh, on the postgraduate uh, studies, we in 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 addition to the teaching uh, and then uh, the other mandate is conducting research and uh, community service activities. So I will more focus on this uh, these two and especially the last one, which is a community service in the last in the remaining time of my presentation. Next. With research, actually we have uh, two streams of research. We have, we have research that uh, is uh, conducted with uh, uh, regular uh, government fund, and that is more related, based on uh, thematic-based researches. Our university has got technology village, so this research is conducted in technology village actually. And um, yeah, it's, it has got a kind of multidisciplinary approach where uh, people from different disciplines uh, come together uh, to uh, tackle uh, development oriented uh, problems. The, and then uh, we also have collaborative uh, projects, which we do with uh, other universities in Ethiopia and also other universities uh, uh, from um, uh, over the world. And the, most of these uh, collaborative projects are uh, again uh, thematic based. They, they, they address uh, multiple disciplines. And then uh, mostly we do these uh, researches with foreign universities. And then some of them uh, uh, training, like PhD in the MSc training, is also uh, included. Uh, I think I brought this um, uh, from the, the CRG for famous one. Maybe uh, this was uh, this was mentioned several times during this workshop. But the reason why I brought this is uh, 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 you you see that the, the the in the CRG, especially with interventions, uh, the country uh, uh, would like to reduce almost 64 uh, percent of uh, the possible emission. And then uh, about 50% of this emission abutment potential is to come from the forestry sector. So uh, the, the interventions, the interventions that uh, are um, that aim towards forests and forestry in this country have got a lot of implication to, uh, to um, uh, the country's uh, green economy strategy. So you can imagine uh, the role, how the role that can be played by our college and also professionals that uh, uh, that uh, graduated from this uh, college. In, in my next slide, 
uh, I, I want to uh, show that, that the country, because of the CRG, in order to implement the CRG, the country engaged in two uh, different interventions. One of these is the Red Plus. And so the Red Plus is actually implemented by Ethiopian Forest uh, uh, Environment, Forest and Climate Change Commission. And uh, with that, we did the, the commission is uh, in its implementation of the Red Plus. Uh, the, we have done a lot of uh, capacity building activities in supporting the countries, the country implements uh, the CRG itself for um, expertise pulled from all over the country. This is not only like uh, um, uh, focused in few areas, it crosses professions and it also uh, aims at capacity building for all of, for all uh, experts all of, from pulled from all the regions in the country. So this is one of the areas through which we are supporting the government, for example, to enhance capacity in addressing uh, or in implementing Red Plus. Next. Uh, this is not only, it's not only the national or the um, uh, federal level one, and, and sometimes based on uh, requests, we can also engage with uh, regions. For example, these two regions, the Southern Nation and the uh, Oromia, they are the ones close to our campus uh, or bordering us. So uh, we do a lot of um, capacity building activities for, for those ones, also in Red Plus and also in GIS remote sensing not only these ones, I'm, I'm presenting only the ones which are related to uh, the climate change, red plus uh, things, but uh, we, we do a lot of uh, uh, capacity building activities in all our uh, programs that we have. We, we, also, we also engage, we also engage in, um, in forest inventories, for example, nationally, we, we, we created a platform for the trainings. We also contributed uh, experts which led or which uh, were really consulting the team during the uh, forest inventory, which were re recently done. And we also supported with equipment because like everything uh, here uh, can be used nationally. And uh, we also involved in, in, in committees uh, which are related to Red Plus, uh, or, uh, regionally as well as uh, uh, nationally. Next. Uh, I want to share with you the experience from one of uh, our uh, big project in, in relation to MRB. It is called National uh, uh, MRB uh, Project. Uh, uh, so this is, um, uh, this is uh, through the support of the Norwegian government and uh, uh, through this through this project, uh, we have uh, impl implemented many things so far. It is almost in the fifth year so far, and uh, and uh, at final uh, year. But um, we have uh, uh, done a lot of things with this project, and then I want to share with you on some of the experiences. Next. Uh, like for example, one of one of the uh, outcomes, one of the areas of um, intervention in this project was building the capacity of the college itself. So through that, uh, uh, like five of our staff are um, almost finalizing the PhD in the in different areas of uh, uh, the uh, like uh, forest resource assessment and monitoring. This is in relation to MRV. In, in area of forestry, and then uh, energy, and then and also climate smart agriculture. Also, about 12, 12 staff have uh, been trained in these different uh, thematic areas uh, from for uh, some months. And there are also uh, research leaves and sabbaticals, which were included in, in this project to enhance the capacity of the college so that the college can uh, better placed in implementing uh, and national MRB capacity building activities. Next. Uh, the, the other is, the, yeah, the other is uh, building the capacity, the, 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 the expertise 
capacity of the, the nationally. So for that, three MSc programs were were opened through this um, through this uh, uh, project, and uh, with this, they are all related to the three pillars of uh, CRG, forest, agriculture, and energy. And then through that, over uh, close to 170 MSCs have been trained by the college. Uh, even if the even if the uh, the project is going to be closed very soon, the college has already hand over uh, took over these uh, three MSc programs, and then they, we have already made it part of our regular uh, uh, MSc program. So we'll continue with the receiving students and then uh, uh, building the capacity in this area for the for the future because. This 170 is very small when we when we look at into the size of the country. Next, um, the the project is also supporting us in uh, building and building different infrastructure in the, the laboratory, and also train short term training is not only the MSCs nationally, and also we are also doing research. On in the field on uh, different sites. Next, uh, <clears throat> the other uh, at at the moment, then uh, our laboratory is uh, uh, is equipped with different um, uh, capacities. We can do greenhouse uh, gas monitoring. We can also do uh, carbon stocks. We can also do growth monitoring to look into sequestration potentials. So uh, the, 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 we, have, uh, we have got almost a very, uh, we have got equipped uh, laboratory to conduct those ones. And we are still building the capacity of our, our lab. The other, uh, I think the other experience, which I should not uh, uh, miss to share with you is uh, the, the, the uh, this specific project itself, the, the climate change, the, pro the project on strengthening the capacity to address uh, climate change on forest sector in Ethiopia, this is specific one, which is supported by COICA and implemented in collaboration with, uh, uh, with uh, the Korea University and uh, Triple GI and the others. So in this project, uh, this project has also done almost uh, similar uh, similar activities with that of MRV. It supported us with curriculum improvements and also uh, teaching materials, which are being in use by different in, in different programs. Also, they have uh, supported us uh, with uh, uh, la laboratory equipment, especially uh, which are helpful to measure uh, greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide from uh, agricultural fields. And also uh, this, like that of the two days uh, uh, workshop, which has already, which, were, which was also conducted before, is also of paramount importance in building the, and the strengthening capacity of the government officials. And uh, there are also uh, supports with regard to uh, research uh, for MSc, PhD in the staff. So uh, the, the, uh, this is also one of uh, uh, the very important uh, projects that uh, uh, I can mention in, in this uh, workshop. Next. So this is uh, these uh, pictures which you see uh, in different uh, panels. This uh, the first one, for example, is uh, uh, training for uh, our MSc students uh, by professors uh, from Korea University or from Korea. And then uh, the one which you see uh, under uh, the first panel is uh, also uh, equipments to measure when, when we were uh, handing, when, uh, when we were receiving support from COICA on equipments that uh, are useful for measuring greenhouse gases. And uh, the, uh, the right top uh, also uh, a workshop, training workshop, which was uh, conducted at Haile uh, Resort in Hawassa, which was very important. The other one also 
like field demonstration of the equipment. So uh, this uh, the teaching materials, trainings, the equipment, they are all uh, being used with by our students at master's PhD level as well as uh, by our staff. Last, uh, this um, uh, this uh, is uh, this collaboration is growing. Like uh, you have uh, you have already uh, uh, seen uh, the presentation from Mr. Innocent uh, from uh, Triple GI. So we are also uh, looking forward to look to work with uh, Triple GI and others in in also uh, implementing this project. Next, we have uh, collaborations with uh, many uh, universities uh, all, of, all over the world, all over the world that I can say. And most of them are, most of them are in the areas of climate change, mitigation and adaptation. Next. So with this, uh, uh, I've, I think I've already uh, showed you uh, that uh, the one they're gonna have uh, uh, when the government has uh, built its capacity over the last 40 years. We feel that uh, this is uh, already center of excellence uh, nationally in the areas of natural resource and forestry and natural, other natural resource uh, management areas. We are supporting other universities. There are, there are other universities have, uh, have also opened, for example, uh, BSc and MSc programs at different levels, but uh, this college is being used as a hub to build uh, the, their capacities. We are training the staff of other universities to master's and PhD level in, in these areas. And also uh, our staff are supporting uh, these uh, new universities in, uh, in uh, curriculum development and other things. So uh, uh, the experience which is built at Wondoganet in this area is uh, very huge. I can say, and um, we are ex we are expecting to even uh, build more in, in in the new areas, especially in, in, in the energy and the climate smart agriculture areas through the through the support from uh, uh, the MRV program. Uh, so uh, uh, so we are, we feel that we are already like a center of excellence for this, but we want to. Uh, get accredited in the, for, as a center of uh, excellence in uh, MRV and other forest management areas, not only nationally, but uh, also at East Africa level. So we, for that, we are working with um, Professor Chang through this project. Uh, and and uh, we are expecting uh, some outcome very shortly on this one. So the commission is also very helpful, helpful on this. They have already uh, attested that they they support us, they help us in any in any uh, activity or in any journey uh, that Wendoganet is doing to re to reach to that level. And uh, uh, so the, uh, the university is also uh, supporting us. This is already in our uh, uh, plan in, 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 in for this year. Uh, so this is what I can share with you. Uh, thank you very much. So this is Wondoganet. Uh, 